Welcome to Sleepyhead Stories Today. We love to read books, be silly, and play. Me and my mommy are here every week to read you great stories that all are unique. Join us at bedtime, or bath time, or breakfast. We promise it's better than a trip to the dentist. Welcome to Sleepyhead Stories. Grumpy Monkey by Susan Lang, illustrated by Max Lang. Mm, same、mm-hmm. last name. Maybe they're married. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, hey, I want to go back to that place. Oh, no, 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 I don't. Yes, I don't. <laughs> okay. One wonderful day, Jim Panzi woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy," suggested Norman from next door. "I'm not grumpy," Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. "Jim's grumpy," Norman told Marabou. "Why are you grumpy, Jim?" asked Marabou. "It's such a wonderful day." "Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy," said Jim. But look at how you're standing," Marabou said. "It's true," said Norman. "You're all hunched." So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. "Jim's grumpy," Norman told Lemur. "Why are you grumpy, Jim?" asked Lemur. "It's such a wonderful day." "Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy," said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy," said Lemur. "It's true," said Norman. "They're all bunched up." So Jim raised his eyebrows. This is grumpy face.、Mm. Then he tripped over Snake. "Oh no!" said Norman. "That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy." "Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy," said Jim. Then why that frown? Said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put a smile on his face. I think he just did a smile because he was scared of the snake was gonna <laughs> jump him up. Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us," said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. "You should swing with us," said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. "You should roll with us," said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. "You should stroll with us," said the peacocks. "Like walk." You should stroll with us," said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath. You should make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy! Shouted Jim as he beat his chest. Oh no. Everybody's looking at him like, "Wow!" <laughs> And he stormed off. <sighs> 
Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up, and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No. I dance with porcupine, said Norman. <laughs> Look, he's got porcupine quills. Why, is, why did he dance with him and he got porcupine quills? Because Norman, um, porcupine had said, you should dance. And so when he danced with him, look, he got stung. Why? Stush, probably by accident. Because they have spikes on them, porcupines. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. Yes. For now, I need to be grumpy. I see three animals in that one. Mm. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. And Jim agreed. I see three wait, wait. Animals here. And he already felt a little bit better just by talking to his friend. So what did you think of that? Grumpy monkey. It says on the back, Jim is having a very bad day. <laughs> Why don't we say that? Jim was having a bad day. So what can you say? Say one or two sentences about the book. What do you think? I want to do one. One? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, right? So his name is Jim, right? So let's say, what does Jim's face look like? Grumpy. Grumpy. What does grumpy look <gasps> Jim's like? Jim's grumpy. Jim is grumpy, yes. And his face is like what? Mm. Mm. Like a frown. He walks around with a frowny face. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we hope that you enjoyed A Grumpy Monkey by Susan Lang. And we're not grumpy. No, we didn't get, read this book in a grumpy mood at all. Uh-oh, maybe the book turned you grumpy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but if you ever do feel I'm grumpy, just it's okay. To put my eyebrows together like he is. I know, like one big eyebrow like that. Mm. <laughs> it's hard. Hannah, you have my All right, guys, we wish you a good day or a good night, and we will talk to you next week in the next episode. Anything last to say? Um, you're grumpy. I'm grumpy. <laughs> no, you're grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good night, guys. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Sleepyhead Stories. We release a new episode each week, so make sure your parents are subscribing. You can find us on Apple iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, and many other podcast platforms. This year, we're doing something new. We have a YouTube channel, Sleepyhead Stories. With your parents' permission, you can go on there. It's a kid-friendly channel, and you can see videos of the insides of the book we read in our podcast each week. So make sure you hit the subscribe button on that as well so you can be updated every time a new video is published. Of course, we're on Instagram and Facebook so your parents can give us a follow, and you can also go on our website, sleepyheadstoriespodcast.com, and send us a message so we can give you a shout out in next week's episode. Thank you so much for listening to Sleepyhead Stories. We wish you guys the best day or the best night.